Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dot 2 Trips and Tricks videos. We are still talking about uh, store look and I would like to introduce to you today the store look function. Um, you see over here in my Dot 2 3D that there is a nice um, scene on stage. So um, this, the, this scene consists of uh, different things. So some values are from the playback. Um, so my QWOs are from the playback, the circle is from the, the playback, the front light for the singer is from the playback, and there are these floor lights here, and they are from the programmer. So my actual output on stage consists of um, programmer values and also of playback values. And now your lighting designer tells you this is a really nice picture on stage and I would like to have this as Q3 in my main queue list. Normally this is a lot of work for you because you have to grab all the values from the playback and make sure that they are in the programmer and uh, store this then. The dot two is in this case very, very clever because there is a function which automatically does this for you. Um, you can press and hold the MA button on the console and then press the store button. Then you have store look in the command line and store look. Um, that's exactly what you need now. Um, with please, I accept this command and store queue number three into my main queue list. And um, now you can see when you go through the main queue list, switch everything off to make sure that it's really only the main queue list what we see in the 3D. And when you now step through the main queue list, you see my previous two queues, nice color fade effects, and queue number three should now be exactly what we have seen before on stage. And this is true. So what has store look done? So look um, has double checked all the values for the dimmer for every fixture. And then it stores um, for every fixture with a dimmer value above zero, it stores every attribute which is used at the moment. So in this case, uh, pan tilt and RGB and for the wash light, the singer position and so on. Um, as the dimmer value for the floor LEDs was also above zero, um, this is also stored and uh, the console doesn't care about the fact that it was in a programmer or it comes from the playback. It simply stores every fixture with the dimmer above zero um, with all attributes which are used. And furthermore, it stores also the every unused fixture. So every fixture with a dimmer closed it is also stored with the dimmer closed value into this queue. This makes sure that your uh, queue looks exactly like it was on stage. So every fixture with dimmer above zero is important to make sure the queue looks the same and every fixture with the dimmer close is also important that the dimmer is close when you play back the queue. So the console stores fixtures with the more closed which are unused and uh, fixtures with all its attributes which are uh, which have a dimmer value above zero that's what store look does additionally store look automatically protects uh, the queue this means um, if you change every uh, something in q1 or q2 q number three is not affected due to tracking no so the protect makes sure that your queue number three looks every time like it was on stage. So a very, very clever feature um, to store the actual gear output on your stage uh, into a queue. That's all about uh, store look. Quincy will go on with another store video um, in a few days, I think. And um, yeah. Hopefully this was interesting for you and you, you've learned something. Um, have fun with all your programming stuff and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.